where Si and Anne, otherwise known as Slaw and Mrs Slaw. In this series, we're driving the wild Atlantic way around the west coast of Ireland in our motorhome. We visit stunning beaches where the dogs love to have a run round. We drive through magnificent scenery at every corner. We meet a naughty pony. We love a drop of the black stuff. So come along with us and enjoy our adventures. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where are we? Oh. We're in Muff. Muff? <laughs> More of our subscribers going past. We've arrived. We're here. We're starting our road trip of the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, 15 nights driving along the west coast of Ireland. Come along with us and enjoy our adventures. Let's go. We're now in the, uh, what are we? Republic of Ireland. Is that right? In Ireland, yep. Um, and the speed limits now are in KMH, so my hood unit, which you'll have seen on many occasions, I can change it to that. So I'm just looking in the book how I do it. And I'm going to change it to KMH. One is KMH, two is MPH, so one. Right, I'm on it. Press and hold again. Get us back. There we go. Should be in KMH. Stick with slow. Let's go. Oh yeah, in KMH. This holiday has been in the planning for a long time. Last summer, we didn't think that we were going to get to France again. Those of you that watch us will know we did get to France. But uh, we only found out on August the 5th, I think it was, before we sailed at the beginning of September. So I had started planning for the Wild Atlantic Way trip. So I'd already bought my, uh, my route atlas, which I'm going to show you every day where we're going, where we've gone from and, and to, and how many miles it's taken. I've also got my famous colour coordinated folder, which is stuffed with the skeleton route that we're hoping to do. Every day, colour coordinated with where the places we're going to visit, the activities we're going to do, uh, lots of information as well. I love planning, it's my hobby and I spend most evenings pouring over things, planning for the adventures. I can vouch for that. <laughs> so today we've started from Muff. We have started in the afternoon. If you watched uh, yesterday's vlog, you will see that um, we were quite busy in Northern Ireland yesterday with a, a little task. So we're starting mid to late afternoon and we're heading out now from Muff out to Inishowen Head. We're going to go um, around the Inishowen Peninsula and up to Malinhead. Muff is the start of the Wild Atlantic Way if you're going north to south. But that is quite controversial because when they were planning the Wild Atlantic Way originally, it was supposed to go from Derry to Cork. So not sure what happened there, um, but Slaw has had some schoolboy sniggers, haven't you Slaw, with some of the um, shop signs in Muff? Not at all, no. Sloan's not like that. So we're, we're heading out now towards Quigley's Point. The views are stunning, so um, I'll stop talking and Sloan will show you some of those with the camera. Beautiful County Donegal, forgot to say.
Wife's gone wrong. <laughs> We've just been saying only 10 minutes ago how well signposted the route is. And I'm following my maps. I like my maps. And then Slaw goes, we're on the R244. And I went, oh no, we should be on the R238. Good so, job. Good job I said it. I only said it casually. <laughs> R244, and she went, R244? Wrong one. So oh, we're, well. So we're heading for Cardona and we should be heading for Kuldaff. Well, they so, reckon that a, a road looks different in different directions, so you're getting a different view. We are. So we're just heading back now to try and find the R238 to Kuldaff. Lovely. <laughs> it's wild. Let's have an Irish kiss. Oi. What's an Irish kiss? Kiss in Ireland. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and sometimes it calls you right in Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head. Bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. Just nearly killed a dog. <laughs> Ran out. Oh, we missed it. And the other thing, the smell, Mrs. Slaw thinks Helga's on fire. I keep, keep smelling burning and I'm going, have you got your handbrake on? Is it the tyres? We've got new tyres on. Is it the brakes? Got new really, brakes on. Really pungent smell of brakes. We've just worked out what it is. Well, we're 99.999% sure it's the people burning peat, we think. No. I think it's the peat, yeah. Because yeah. we've stopped three times for me to get out and sniff the flipping wheels. We've just, we've just passed two houses that were burnt, that were smoking. So can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not Helga. We think it's the peat. Two panics over. <laughs> and the dog we missed. Yeah, that's the second one. Yeah. Come to my table. Come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head. Oh, bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. Farron's Bar, the most northerly bar in Ireland. I'm just seeing if we can go in with dogs. Out with dogs. Yeah. Everybody happy? Oh, it's a yes. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. First Guinness. First Guinness. Are already afoot. The Ross Common Man in Garrity is hoping his oh, that's efforts can help. That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really clean out. Mm. Oh. It's a good one. Good. Thumbs up that. <laughs> nice. It's a good one. Very nice. And uh, Slaw's trapped himself to uh, a lovely t shirt. Mm. Let's get right way around. Here, the team of volunteers brought a bus of aid to neighbouring homes, then began their work of supporting Ukrainians. Most normally bad. I can't read it, you read it. Farron's Bar, Ireland's most normally bad. I've told Mount yeah. Tony. So, we're not going to lose him. He's going to look like a leprechaun in this, isn't he? <laughs>
Yeah. It's wild out there. Wow. It is really wild. I opened the cab door and um, there were an empty crisp packet in. I think that's in America now. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Flew away. <laughs> and dogs are welcome in this bar, which is great. So the pooches are under the table. They've just had a good run on um, Coldaff Beach. So they're quite happy at the minute. So he's slow. <laughs> Cheers. You can only have one though, because we've got to drive. Yeah. Just up the road. Mm. We're not sure where we're um, parking up tonight. We'll see when we get back on the road. Possibly stopping at Malinhead tonight. If not, we'll just drop a bit down the other side. I'll show you the bar. We need this after uh, we got it wrong way. <laughs> Nearly killing a dog. <laughs> and smelly things. A bit quite stressful. I thought it was Mrs. Slaw. What? Smelly. Cheeky beggar. to see Tony the Pony. start we've already started I know anyway let's let's go let's crack on hey Tony oh, me. come on Shh. get out of here get on Tony fighter over here my motor over here hey oi <laughs> get out of there get your heart get the <laughs> get off my motor over Come, Come round and get me quick. <laughs> We've seen him. It's okay. It's okay, Mummy's seen him. It's okay. Mummy's seen him. I know. You were telling him, weren't you, JJ? There's Tony the pony. Tony. Hey, don't get onto my van. <laughs> Rubbing his ass on van. Get him. It's okay, JJ. See tone, the pone, Malin head, done. Very, very wild. We're going to sleep there, but it'll be a bit, a bit rough. Far too wild. So we're now on the hunt for somewhere to lay our heads tonight. That way then. Go where you want. Place found. It is indeed. Thank you very much to the gentleman in Farron's Bar who told us where to come. We think we're at a little place called Goury. Um, 
but he told us that it was by the chapel and there were some parking places right up to the water's edge. Just look at this when Slaw turns it round. It's close. There you go. What a park up for the night. So, I think it's time to have some tea and then I'll show you on the maps where we've gone today, how long it's taken, um, what we think about it, but I think Slaw's ready for a beer now. I think so. Another so, beer. Yeah. So, we'll grab us tea and we'll come back to you. And it's windy. Very windy. Very windy. Nice. Slow's area now, a bit messy, doing some editing. You can see. I've got the Eco Flow charging my MacBook, but then my me, me, uh, batteries for my cameras are plugged into uh, Motorhome because, as you can see, we're off grid. So we're running on batteries off the motorhome, or battery, because we've only got one. Gas, Mrs. Slaw's using all the gas. Cooking on gas. Using all the gas over there. Cooking on gas. And I'm having to drink Guinness to lighten the van. As you can see, yes, he's worn out. And Billy's hiding. Tea time. Tea time. Chilli chicken with uh, sour cream, new potatoes and peas. All done on the gas. Cracking. Map time. Here's my map of the Wild Atlantic Way. We're doing it north to south and there are 15 signature points along the way. That we're going to hopefully visit. There's lots and lots of signature points, uh, lots and lots of discovery points along the route, but um, we're not going to get to all of those in two weeks. So I will show you each day how we're progressing down here. So today we went from Muff up to Malinhead and we've just come down this little bit. So that's it for today. That's all we've done. Um, and we've got all this to go so there's a heck of a way in front of us so let's move from the big map and go to my lovely colour coordinated folder and this is the plan that i made so day one is in yellow and we came across from belfast to derry and to muff and we went around here now we've actually done a little bit more because um we we made up a little bit of time today from the um pet passports so we went up to Malinhead and we've just gone down the other side a little bit so we are a little bit ahead on this map and finally to the detailed map if you're thinking of doing the wild atlantic way this route atlas is really really good so we started out today on this page from Muff and we went up the coast windy it's very windy up the coast and first stop was Inishowen Head we then had a stop at McGilligan Point View we didn't go to Kine uh, Kinego Bay we went to Kuldaff Beach let the dogs have a run we went up to Malin Head but before we got there we stopped off at Farrah's Far Bar and then on the recommendation of one of the locals we have come down here and we are staying tonight at Gori. So today we've travelled 68 of the 1500 and odd miles that we will be doing over the next two weeks. It's going to be a long drive. That's the noise. Can you hear it? Could be a disrupted evening.
a disrupted night. We used the EcoFlow last night to charge the um, MacBook Pro, <clears throat> which conserved the power on the motorhome a bit better. Um, I know we weren't here long, but when you drop one little increment off our leisure battery, so we'll see what happens uh, when we give it a bit more stick. Good morning. Good morning. A bit breezy. It's very wild. It's the wild Atlantic way, and it is wild. <laughs> It is, but fresh. We stayed here last night, um, an absolutely lovely little park up. Um, so I'll turn the camera around, where you can see Five Finger Strand Beach just below Malin Head. Down there somewhere. That's where we were, so I'll put what three words down in the description. Um, there's about six parking places um, and three picnic benches and you're right on the side of um, the lock which is stunning absolutely beautiful to look out on uh, it yep. was it was quiet in the night apart from the wind the wind was really really loud uh, there is a road um, but we we think we only heard one car in between going to bed and half five so it's not a busy road obviously um, and after the half five one I don't remember anything else until I woke up so we would recommend this park up for the night we're heading off now, so if you want to come with us on more of our adventures, then um, please subscribe. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of when we upload these vlogs, don't forget to ring that bell. <laughs> and um, if you're out and about, you may want to play... Spot the Slaws. Spot the Slaws. And you could be in with a chance of winning one of our lovely mugs. Mug. Mug. So we're back in Helga now to start um, the next leg of our adventure. So come along with us and enjoy our, those adventures. Bye. Let's go.